I want to protect the children in my school. So I have taken it upon myself to challenge one such book. And that book is the Bible. One student's using it to actually argue that our district should focus less on banning books and more on the teacher shortage. The Gardner Edgerton School District is reviewing the Holy Bible after that student in the district made a formal request. But that formal request is satirical in nature. Tonight, she's trying to make a point. Reagan Porter, live outside Gardner Edgerton High School tonight. Reagan. The Holy Bible is under review and that student who asked, she's a senior here at Gardner Edgerton High School. She said there are bigger issues though that need to be addressed inside the schools. But with one book, I agree we should ban, and that's the Holy Bible. It doesn't meet the standards to be removed. Two students went in front of the Gardner Edgerton School Board Monday asking to have the Holy Bible pulled from school libraries across the district. That some things shouldn't have a place in a school. Elizabeth Fiedler filled out this form last week requesting the review. She said the Holy Bible is inappropriate. Elena Moss believes if other books are being banned, this book should also be taken off shelves. No one should get to cherry pick based on their own ideologies of which books belong in, dis in schools. Now let's be explicitly clear. I have never nor will I ever believe that books with only a couple things that are slightly inappropriate should be challenged. The Bible belongs in schools as well as all of these other books. Courtney Dunning says any person submitting a review must read the book cover to cover. Dunning believes there are several problems with pulling the Bible. I don't think the Bible should be banned. It's a religious freedom for one and two, it provides a lot of insight into life lessons that I think a lot of kids need nowadays. Board member Greg Chapman says he will not be voting to have it removed. In a statement to Fox 4, he said there have been many books this year that have been reviewed and upheld by the board. Fiedler also told the board Monday there are bigger problems inside schools. She blames controversy surrounding banning books as a reason for the teacher shortage. We have students walking the hallways at high school doing drugs in our bathrooms. Dunning agrees there is a drug issue at the school and she says she's concerned. Dunning plans to homeschool her two kids next year. The superintendent did take time to encourage his teachers. The district did not address the teacher shortage or drug claims in their response to Fox 4. A recommendation on the Bible will be sent to the board in the fall. Lauren.